Hey guys, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to continue the goals for our questing system. Hmm. And uh, the kill goals are going to track deaths in our game from enemies and determine if they are deaths that they care about. And if they are, they're going to increment the current amount on that kill goal. So to get started, I'm going to create a kill goal script. Go to create C sharp script. I want to call it kill goal. I'm going to open that up in Visual Studio 2017. So let's think about how we're going to do this. We need to know when a certain enemy dies so that we can increment specific kill goals based on that enemy. So if we have a kill goal that's tracking our slimes, right, it's listening for a slime death, we have to know when that slime dies. And there's a couple ways we can handle that. We can use the type. So we have slime, we have vampire, we have goat. But then we're going to have to assign those types to an, like an I enemy field if we want to do that. And, and instead of doing that, what I want to do is I just want to create an identifier, just an integer identifier to determine what kind of enemy it was. So to do that, I'm going to go to my I enemy interface and I'm going to add a property. It's going to be an integer and I'm going to call it ID. And now what we can do is go to our slime and I can actually add this. I will have to add this as a property to my enemy integer and it's going to be a, uh, an ID. And now what I want to do is assign this value ID is equal to zero. Slime is the first enemy, it is equal to zero. And you could also add like an NPC identifier as a character stat or just a character identifier as a character stat and then use this with your stat system instead of creating a separate property for an ID for each enemy. However you want to do that. And then kill goal, what I want to do is assign or at least create a property that we can use to assign the type of enemy that we're looking for. So I'm going to have a property and it's going to be integer and I'm going to call it enemy ID. So whenever we construct a kill goal, we want to assign a value that determines the enemy that this kill goal should be tracking. And we also want to make sure that kill goal inherits from goal. And what I want to do is I want to have a constructor on kill goal and we can have a base constructor for our goal class and then just use that to construct our individual types of goals. But I'm going to just keep it on my kill goal and I want to have a public kill goal. And we're going to pass the values that we, that our base class has and also a couple values specific to our kill goal, or at least one value specific to our kill goal being the enemy ID. So I want to pass a, let's see, we're going to do an integer for enemy ID. And we also want to do the string for description. Let's look at this again here. Uh, completed bool and then two ints. So we're going to have the bool for completed. We're going to have the int for current amount and the int for required amount. And later on, we'll also have a type that we're passing to our kill goal that is the, uh, the quest that this goal is associated with. But we don't have a quest in our game yet, so we can't really use that as a type. So we'll wait until we do that, then we'll add that to the objects. And now just this enemy ID is equal to enemy ID. Typical constructor stuff here. This dot description is equal to description. There we go. And I also want to have an initialize method that's going to override this one in our kill goal. So it's going to be a public void, oh, public override, Ooh. void, and it's going to be initialize. And for now, we'll just call the base class. But what I am going to do is we're going to use this to start the event listener so that we can actually listen for whenever enemies die and then call a method on this that will check to see if the enemy that died matters to this goal and we'll do that here in just a second i then want to think about we have this evaluate and this complete and they are not virtual and i don't think we need them to be and if they need to be we can just change them later on but now what i want to do is i want to have a void method here that's going to be called something like enemy enemy died or something like that it's going to be what we assign for the listener whenever an enemy dies in our combat event system. And we're gonna take in an I enemy called enemy. And we're just gonna to check to see what kind of enemy this was or what the idea on this enemy was to see if we need to increment our current amount for this goal. 
and keep in mind, what's cool about this is that these goals are only going to be tracked whenever the quest is assigned to our player. So these are going to, the quests are going to be assigned as components to a type of quest log that will only be active whenever the quest is active on the player. So these kill goals will only be tracked when the quest they are associated with is active for the player. And I think that's pretty cool. So what I want to do is I want to say if enemy dot enemy ID or ID is uh, equal to and then this dot enemy ID, right? So if the enemy's ID is equal to this kill goals enemy ID, then that is the enemy that we care about. Therefore, we should do something with that. And what should we do? What I want to do is I want to just increment the value and then evaluate. Right, so I want to take the this dot current amount, increment it by one. You could just do plus plus, just like that, and then I want to just take and say evaluate. And again, this works because we are inheriting from goal. Pretty cool, right? So now every time an enemy dies, we're going to check to see if we care about it. If we do, we're going to increment the value and then see if we should complete the goal. And if it does equal that we should complete the goal, if the result is true, then we'll complete the goal, setting completed the true, and we'll uh, do some other stuff in the future with that. Now all I have to do is actually set up the listener for enemy died, or set up the set up enemy died as a listener for this event. So I'm going to go through my combat events. That's where the enemy die event is stored, or at least the delegate. And I want to go through, I believe it was on enemy death and add to it enemy died. And this actually has an I enemy parameter. So the signatures of the methods match. So it works just fine for us. And now that should be all we need to track kill goals in our questing system. Pretty cool, right? And you can see how you can take this and turn it directly into an item collection goal, right? So the way we have our questing system set up it doesn't seem as intuitive because the the events are only for the UI, but you can still hook into those. I mean, I'm not going to say you can't do that, right? You can hook into the UI events and determine when an item was added to the inventory and get the item that was added because that's how we update the UI is we fire off these inventory events. And all you have to do to feel better about yourself doing this is rename the system from UI uh, event system, whatever, to inventory events and separate those out or just have a, an entire event controller that handles all these different types of events, however you want to do it. But we're going to keep it the same and keep it very simple, just like this. And this is all we have to do for a kill goal. And uh, we'll continue the questing system in the next lesson, guys. Hope you are excited about this still. Questions, form.gogamegrind.com, patreon.com slash gamegrind for stuff. And uh, I'll see you next time.